Yo, what's up, YouTube? Axel is here with a bit of news. Um, recently, the web page updated. Uh, the Tarkov web page where we are collecting a billion and billion of rubles for the Lightkeeper had a small update. There is a Morza code right there. I translated all of it um, by myself. I might be a little bit wrong, but it makes a lot of sense. Basically, it is saying that Smatritil дает добро на барахолку после 600 billions. Basically, it means um, the Watcher agrees to, to release flea market after 600 billion. And we'll also see the 600 uh, number right there. And that definitely means that after we get to 600 billion, Philly Market will be released. And I think lots of us, well, uh, whoever watches this video can make some money by selling some specific items. And I'm going to share with you which items you should uh, stack up on if you play the game. Um, and yeah, and make the money whenever Philly Market is released. Generally, the items people are going to be looking for, will uh, I will split into two different categories. First category is uh, what most people will be looking for. And second category is going to be expensive items, which people like me will be looking for. Well, and buying there for the... So, um, expensive category will involve armors, helmets, and top tier ammunition. For example, for guns like Ash-12. If you do manage to kill Gluhar and he has good bullets on him, I think they're called P12B. Um, do save those bullets and sell them on the flea, because even if you sell them for like 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 rubles per bullet, I will probably buy them if I do want to play with Ash-12. So do focus on saving found and raid expensive armors and ammos, as well as helmets. Another thing is, I've seen lots of people playing with AKs for the past few days, so I do think bullets like BP, uh, BT, will be pretty good to be sold on the flea market due to the fact that you can't buy them from the traders and people who want to play the game will probably play with AKs and uh, if you do have those bullets or you do start collecting them now, you can make a lot of profit from that. Another thing is medications. Salawas, CMS kits, um, Propitals if you do have them and green stims. Green stems, those babies, they're gonna go for like 200, 500k whenever flea market is released. And even if people sell these ones for 200k, I will buy them because I'm running low on them. Same applies to Propital. Propital was something around 35k, between 25 and like 35k pre-event. I think right now you can easily sell Propital for 70, 80k and then people will buy it. I will buy it. If you do sell it for 50, 70k, I'll buy it. So do focus on collecting stems and uh, really high usability mats like the mats which most of the people do use so Salewa, Abuprofen, um, Afox from Raiders that'd be decent as well and Grizzlies people do need Grizzlies due to the fact that you can't heal after the raid so do get a couple of Grizzlies I'm pretty sure you can get like I don't know 50, 100k um, economy is gonna stabilize whenever flea market is released but if you do if you do monitor how much money we have at the moment we are at 479 billion so we're getting close to 600 billion mark i think we might achieve it by the end of today 29th of um april and whenever flea market is released the first like i don't know five ten minutes is the time when you can make money you can sell anything for insanely high price and people will buy it. But if you can't access Flea Market or like you're not going to play the game whenever Flea Market is released, don't worry about that. Still, the next day, prices are going to be incredibly high. So, um, yeah, this is more or less it. I hope you're more or less enjoying this event. And if you aren't, at least you can make some money if you watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.